If you have an experienced ISO specialist within your company to keep your policies up to date, perform internal audits and keep your business ISO compliant, then working with a consultant may not be required. However, more often than not, we see unspecialised employees asked to complete the task of getting companies ISO prepared. Requesting an employee to remain impartial and objective throughout this task can cause many issues, delays and frustrations, not to mention still having their core role to fulfil. After trying to go it alone, after exhausting all internal options and facing a time crunch to become certified for a contract or tender, many companies come to us halfway through. So even if you're currently in the process of implementation, you may find an ISO consultant's expertise invaluable as you can learn from them and benefit from their advice. Make sure if you work with a consultancy that they'll perform your gap analysis, create your management system documentation and take the vast majority of the heavy lifting. Because part of your ISO success will come from whom you choose to partner with. So do your homework and build that relationship with your consultant. We know it can be uncomfortable to invite someone into your company, having them review your policies and revised procedures. However, most companies find that this is the most beneficial aspect of working with a consultant. In fact, you probably have more processes in place than you think that an experienced assessor can uncover. If you work with an IMSM consultant, they will assist you through each phase of the implementation process to ensure your business reaps the rewards gained from having an ISO management system fully embedded into your business and culture. This level of vital support is why you should work with an ISO assessor from the start.